98.1 FM and AM 1220. Here for our weekly dose of pest control wisdom, he's trying to show me memes. I, I'm trying to run the board. I'm trying to do the interview. I'm trying to run the camera. He's Cardinalis, the prince of pest control. Some call him the sultan of bug swatting. Others call him the chief inspection officer of Unipest, Santa Clarita's leading pest control company. What's happening, Cardin? I'm good. How are you? Or I am well. Sorry. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. you, you using well. Why the tie? It, you always come in looking so professional. This is part of the Unipest uniform. I'd have to imagine that it's tough to work with, with uh, pesticides and all of that, getting down and dirty underneath houses with this, this tie flying all over the place. My mission president told me that if you dress well, you can fool a lot of people. Is that right? So, yeah, I just try and fool people. How many different Unipest uniforms do you have? Oh, geez, way too many. Is that right? Enough that I can get one filthy every single day and have one to change into. And if that one gets filthy, I have an entire week's worth of clothes before laundry day. Do you carry around an extra Unipest uniform in your car when you go out to a job? Yes, that's actually a state law question, so I'd never say no to that. You actually have to, by law, you have to have a change of clothes in your vehicle. Is that right? Yeah. Why? Just because if you get too dirty, yeah, you can change into... Or, like, I think it's ideally so that if you get pesticides on you or anything like that, you have something to change into. You don't have to run down the street naked. That you makes know what sense. I'm that makes always... sense. Did you go to any jobs today? Uh, yeah, but I, sh- I showered before I came here. Good. I appreciate so... that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you dealing with today? What were we working with? The uh, Oh, um, I was doing a couple of bids. It was actually uh, – today's actually been a light day. Not too bad. Kind of, okay. you know, easy breezy. Swung <laughs> by some uh, some fumigations that went up in New Hall. And then you Your never... fumigations, correct? Yeah. Uh, what would you say? Your fumigations. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, don't, I don't spy on other – Yeah, you don't homes, spy on the competition. You know, like, yeah. Who did you use for your fumigation? Uh-huh. No, today was pretty easy breezy. <laughs> you know, got some, uh, some vehicles repaired because we got a fleet full of vehicles. Uh, checked by some uh, fumigations, made a bunch of phone calls, so on and so forth. Yeah, not too bad. I wasn't crawling under a house this morning like I usually am. Excellent. Now, Cardin, it's it's like 95 degrees outside. It seems like the summer heat is still... Oh, it never ends. It, it never ends. It's yet yeah. to phase out. We have seasonal pest issues. Are oh, we yeah. still seeing the summer pests linger into oh, late October? Oh, it's crazy because we've had like this miniature little heat wave. Yeah. Uh, dude, termite swarms like nuts. Really? Dude, this Dude. is, yeah, it's like, that's usually a middle or the beginning of summer pest, but uh, I had uh, just two or three yesterday. Mm. Yeah, that, and also, you know, it's weird, it's been up big time lately, gophers. Is that right? Gophers, man. Yeah. In the house or just outside? Can uh, they get in the house? Can they, you know, they dig? You know, I've never been called because there's been a gopher on the inside of house. I have had it where somebody unlicensed made a room out of what used to be a sunroom Mm -hmm. and they didn't do the floor right so there actually was a spot where a gopher was able to pop up into that room yeah that that was kind of cool but that was a one-time deal and uh by and large yeah that's mostly exterior why are gophers so dangerous why do you have to get rid of them i mean outside of just you know you don't want them in your yard tearing up your grass yeah, it's and the gophers, they do minimal damage compared to the dogs. The dogs going after the gophers will dig bigger holes than the gophers themselves. But uh, there's A, the aesthetic problem. Mm-hmm. B, they can chew through water lines in order to get through the water, which is kind of interesting. They, they, they'll, they'll, they'll do that. And then also, uh, you can't have them. We do a lot of football fields, baseball fields, soccer fields, stuff like that, because a kid will break a leg. Yeah. If they oh, accidentally yeah. like, slip and all of a sudden you got you know a 60-pound kid all of a you know, cracking something. Yeah. And then uh, also horse property. Oh, which is yeah, huge you can, out here. Oh, if you have like a $50,000 horse that all of a sudden breaks its leg in a way that's unsalvageable, you just have to put it down. Yeah. Wow. I don't. That's just what I hear. I, I'm not yeah, right, wealthy right. enough to have horses yet. <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. We're talking to Cardin Ellis of Unipest, uh, Santa Clarita's leading pest control company. Cardin, talk to me about tree injections. What are tree injections? Oh, dude, I was doing those today. Dude, we haven't talked about that. Actually, I don't think we ever talked about that. Um, that's a good question. And I just had a big spat of them recently. Uh, what are tree injections? Okay, tree injections are when a tree gets a disease yeah. or it gets bark beetles, which are becoming increasingly common here. And that's an insect that will oftentimes create those small holes in trees and introduce a fungus into the tree. Or it'll actually just start eating the leaves. So, for example... I just did a job at this really cool movie ranch place, Mm -hmm. you know, that trains um, dogs for the movies and whatnot. Cool. 
and they had a tortoise beetle infestation, which infests eucalyptus trees. A lot of these trees here that we have, in fact, all of those trees that they planted for the victims of the St. Francis Dam disaster along the 126, New yeah, Orleans yeah, yeah. Road, those are all eucalyptus uh, trees, one for every, I think, victim of the flood. And then also throughout Santa Clarita, eucalyptus trees are really big, and they get tortoise beetles that actually look like this like this they're half, huge. They're, they're pretty big, yeah. yeah. And they're like this little half dome. And you can see their damage because they're literally cha- taking out chunks of the leaves. Yeah. So we'll do that. Also, there's just regular oak tree borers if you got oak trees on your property or California sycamore trees. They're really worried about polyphagus now because polyphagus bark beetle has been found in Green Valley, also found south of us. There's been a couple of trees in town that have gotten it. So they're trying to protect all the California sycamores. Polyphagus will kill them in six months. You always come in with so much information. Is there like a newsletter that you're signed up for that you get in your email inbox? Is there a pest control uh, quarterly magazine or something like that? Dude, maybe I should. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I mean, you should we be the one to publish videos. that. Every once in a while on the KHTS news blog, they'll call me and ask me questions that are pest control related. Uh, so on and so forth. But yeah, maybe I should make some cool like news blog or something. I think something. you should. We're talking with Cardinalis of Unipest. Can you stick around for a couple minutes? Yeah, sure. sure. All right. I have to do a traffic update. Then we have a book report. You have kids, right? Yeah, rock on. Fourth grade book reports, baby. That's coming up in That's just a second. About. Right now, though. Beep, 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 beep. Go. Let's get a look at traffic as we do every 10 on the 8th weeknights. Yes, weeknights. All the way till 7. I don't know why to clarify that, but uh, I did. Just for... Clarity's sake. Checking in with CHP right now. 14 northbound at Placer Canyon. Two-car collision over to the right-hand shoulder at a traffic's way. We are seeing a little bit of a slowdown on the 14 northbound coming away from the 5 up through Shadow Pines Boulevard. Southbound side of the 5, heavy but moving from Lines Avenue down through the 210. That's all I got. That is traffic here on KHTS. If you see anything out there on the road, 298-KHTS, or if you have a pest control tip or question for Cardin. I can't imagine you have a tip for him that he he doesn't know already. Uh, Give me a call. 298-5487-298-KHTS. Traffic brought to you by Frontier Toyota. Frontier Toyota reminds you to drive safely. Shop from home at FrontierToyota.com or visit their showroom at Valencia and Creekside. See their all new hot and exciting Taking a look at Jumptown Station weather forecast, expect to see clear skies throughout the rest of the afternoon into the evening and all the way through the overnights. Overnight lows tonight going to drop down to the lower 60s. Daytime temps in the mid-90s tomorrow. Then more cloud coverage and cooler temps coming our way through the end of the week starting on Thursday. Right now, though, 95 in Valencia, 95 here in Old Town, New Hall. 98.1 98.1 FM and AM 1220. In case you missed it from the Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. Hometown. Hometown.
counter next to Target. Visit us and open an account today. Insured by NCUA, an agency of the federal government. 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Back in the studio with Cardinalis, the chief inspection officer of Unipest, Santa Clarita's leading pest control company. Let's talk uh, prevention. Are there anything is are there any steps we can take to prevent pest controls? Like I, I remember when I lived in a house. Uh, I uh-huh. still live in a res- residential area. I just don't live in a house uh, anymore. We would trim the trees so that the rats wouldn't, you know, use that as as a springboard to get That's into a good our one. attic. Yeah. Keep there, going. Is there what anything else? else? Uh, cleaning out the cupboards. I'm judging your home ownership right now. <laughs> don't. Please don't. There's a lot you, to judge. You clean out your rain gutters? Uh, sure. Yeah, man. I'd get yeah. up there on the ladder That'll and do all that. That'll stop earwigs and like silverfish and stuff. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. Because they feed off of cellulose debris. And Common knowledge. Yeah. Sure. That's okay. Keep going. That's about it. Then I would, you know, look out for old food in the, in the, in the okay. cupboard and stuff. Well, that'll help with like cockroaches, but yeah, but I don't want that. Back in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What'd so, you do for ants? Anything for ants? Oh, and any ants? We love ants, so we just let them in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I'm gonna say yeah. No, look. I mean, if the ants are sneaking in, what what can I do? You know, what what can we do? You're the uh, expert. Well, it's actually kind of sad. There, homeowners. You, there used to be a lot of DIY fixes you could have, and you'll look online and you'll hear all kinds of old wives' tales. They oh, if you use cornstarch, that'll you know, make their bellies explode and just like, like an Alka-Seltzer with Uh a seagull or something, you know, (laughs) but at the end of the day, yeah. Um, Most of those internet fixes, unfortunately, don't really work. And the California public has been relatively emasculated in terms of access to good products that can actually do a good job against ants. So that's one of the few ones where without professional pest control, Mm -hmm. uh, the average person can gain control themselves. Just you you can't buy anything really worthwhile. Um, And it's kind of sad because uh, the really good stuff doesn't really have a high toxicity rating or anything like that. You know, it's all eco-friendly. And when used properly, you actually don't even have to use a lot of it because ants spread it amongst themselves better than human beings ever could. Mm. With ants, it's kind of crazy. You'll just kind of spray the trail and you follow it back to where you find that they're nesting. And then you can actually inject where they're nesting. Well, I guess it's bad for residents that we don't have access, but it's good for business, right? You know, you'd think so, but most people can't afford, uh, oh. like, all of a sudden just a, a large amount of pest control. And, and it, it's a big gap. So now, actually, pest control's got a lot more affordable as more people have needed it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's about the cost. It's less than the cost of a gardener, for example. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that's I'd say ants is probably the number one reason that we get called out, especially during the summers. Because ants are crazy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I've asked you this before, but you're a pest guy. Say uh, you have kids, too, and... Say your kids wanted an ant farm. Would you get it for them? Oh, yeah. Well, it depends on the species, too. I mean, I'm not going to let them have, like, a fire ant farm. You wouldn't you know? let that. No, there's this Canadian guy that has a YouTube channel. Uh-huh. Um, and it's something ants. And he literally has, like, a million followers. <laughs> and he's got multiple ant farms in which he just feeds different things. Oh. And he monitors their success, their growth. Their, this bro is an enthusiast. Yeah, we need beyond, government surveillance on that guy. Yeah, no, it is crazy. But, like, I think one of his videos were about, like, how his fire ant colony escaped <laughs> his big his big glass cage or something. I can't remember exactly, but, yeah, those things freak situation. me horrible situation. Oh, fire He's Cardinalis of Unipest, your one-stop shop for pest and termite control in the Santa Cruz Valley and all across the L.A. area. Call them today for your free inspection. Free 99, gotta love that. At 661-284-7575. That is 661-BUG-7575. You can reach out to them, get more info at unipest.com. And Carton makes these awesome DIY uh, pest control videos. He says uh, that you can't really find a lot of uh, solutions on the internet, but you you provide them on your YouTube channel. What is the YouTube? YouTube YouTube.com slash... I think it's just Unipest. U-N-I-Pest. Yeah, Perfect. U-N-I-P-E-S-T. Awesome. Uh, 661-284-7575, unipest.com, and youtube.com slash unipest. Garden, until next time, man.